Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our Forbidden Foods bin. I left the lid off of it for a few days. It was seeming a little bit too moist in here when I poked my head in the other day. So um, I will put that lid back on after this feeding, but I did let it dry a little bit. So I just wanted to see what we had left in here. Looks like some onion skins. And I'm seeing um, some worms in here still, which is impressive. Some of my other bins, they completely leave the onion skins alone. So um, the fact that there's some worms still around that is encouraging to me. And then down here is where we had our most recent citrus feeding. Of course, I just dropped that piece of citrus I had in my hand. But I can feel some down here, so... Let's see. Just looks like the pulp, really, that's remaining in down here. Although, here we go. I think I have some here. They look excellent. So again, more proof to me that the Citrus is completely harmless to these guys. They don't seem to mind at all. They mind more being put under this light than dealing with any sort of acidity. It doesn't seem to be a problem at all. But I'm thinking a lot of these guys must have dug deep because I'm just not seeing them in the numbers I've been used to. Although well, they're probably just spreading out a little bit. But they do look very, very healthy. So, I'm not going to complain with that. So, one of the foods that I had been waiting to do to make sure that I wasn't going to kill off the bin first was pineapple. And so I have a piece of pineapple today. And I did not freeze it. And I'm going to tell you why. Um... There is an enzyme, oh, he's going to lay a cocoon soon. There's an enzyme in um, pineapple that is actually used as a meat tenderizer. And that is, I think, where people came up with the idea that it would kill the worms, thinking that they would die. So I didn't freeze it. I just kept this slice in a bag on my counter. It's gotten a little bit... Um, it's starting to turn. It's a little, a little funky color, but um, I'm thinking just because of the fears people have discussed with pineapple that I'm going to put it all the way over here on this other side and um, see if they will move over to it and we'll give it a week and come back as usual. So let me go grab that and we will feed these guys up. So the moment of truth here is this large slice I don't know, maybe that's an inch and a half thick of pineapple. And I'm going to kind of dig up a space over here so that we can bury this pretty well. And I'm just going to lay that pineapple just like that because it's not a bottom piece, so flesh will be exposed both ways. And I'm going to Give a healthy sprinkling of some eggshell. If I can get some more, I want to put as much as possible around here. And I'm just going to cover it back up with these egg crates, which we have on this side of the bin. It'll also be interesting to see if in a week's time the worms will migrate because they've been living primarily in this cardboard over here. So be kind of a dual thing going on here and see how it how it works so drop your comments below uh, like this video subscribe if you want some more content from me and let's take some predictions what do you guys think is going to happen will they move into it quickly will it harm them uh, will they completely leave it alone let me know what you think and I'll be back next week for our usual update talk to you guys soon